guys are too kind. Thank you. Welcome. Come on in. I have another edition of Wix Addict Gaming Corner. My name is Dark Soldier 420. And this episode, we're going to be playing Outlast. Yeah, I know. Everybody's played it already, but I thought I haven't. And it's Halloween. I just figured, you know, I just well kind of get in the Halloween y spirit and try and, you know, play these scary games just because I've been wanting to try them for like ever. Because I like this kind of thing, but fair warning, I'm probably going to die within like the first five minutes, but I'm going to try, and that's what counts, right? I kind of remember the controls because I was just looking at them a second ago. So, uh, I barely know what this game's about. It's going to be a whole new experience for me, which probably means it's going to be just as big of an experience for you, because you can sit there and watch me play and laugh at how many times I screw up or die or, well, since how this is my first time, I guess I'm going to go with normal, which is probably easy, because I'm not going to go with nightmare, because that is probably just, yeah. Okay. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, strong language. Please enjoy. <laughs> well, thank you. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Okay. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Well, gee, thanks. That really gives me a lot of hope. I don't have any weapons. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns were to blame for livestock behavior. Encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend seminar on Gula Avenue in Pueblo. And if you're out late tonight, so whose idea was it to do this anyway? I mean, is this place even in use anymore? Or is it like one of those spooky ghost places that are supposedly haunted by past residents or whatever. September 17, 2013, from blah, 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 to blah, 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 illegal activity, Murkoff, psychiatric system, you don't know me, have to make this quick, they might be monitoring, I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff, psychiatric systems facilities, in Mount Massive, all sorts of NDAs, I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, screw those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed.
objectives are updated in your reporter's, reporter's notebook. I was reading that. Apparently I was too reading too slowly. Okay, uh, why is there no uh, guards here anymore? I mean, this place even, like, that's the thing that I was questioning. And just, this place even, like, remotely in use anymore? Or is it, like, a defunct? And so you have to have, you have to have a password to get in here, so. And I can't interact with the keyboard, can't interact with the phone. Can't interact with anything here. Well, that sucks. It's kind of a pretty sunset type thing. To open a door quickly, press left mouse button. To open a door slowly, Press and hold it. Event recording, adding a note in your notebook, press N to read it. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric System in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. It might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Okay. Notes are only added to your notebook when your camcorder is raised to record events. I almost get the feeling I'm going to wet my pants. Especially considering I can't defend myself. Why do I have to run already? These are military vehicles. Really? Oh, do you hear that? Hear that monitoring sound? Oh, I can crouch to get under left left control. Okay, so it's kind of all within your, I get it, it's all within your, your hand, uh, so apparently, obviously, we don't have an appointment, so uh, apparently we're just supposed to sneak in. Um, are you saying that I need to do that now? Is that what you're hinting at? That I'm supposed to raise my camcorder, zoom in, and see that, look, there's a window open or broken or whatever up there that I could potentially go into. And, oh, no note this time. I don't like when music's like that. Oh, look, it's a ladder. So apparently it's telling me that I can't go through this door over here, huh? I can't just knock and say, Hi, I'm here to record stuff at your wonderful facility because, well, you know. Oh. 
Well, I can try, but apparently that's not gonna work. Okay, that looks like. Oh, never mind. No. This is the button I want. Okay, well, obviously I can't do anything there. Now, assuming that this is one of those games that you, uh, you kind of. If you run, you you actually run out of breath because, you know, that's the way it is in real life. And so, especially considering you're supposed to be, um, I'm sure we're supposed to find all sorts of dreadful monsters here, or something, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just know that it's supposed to be... <clears throat> okay, so can I... Do I have any type of, uh... Sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna check my stuff here. Do I have any type... Okay, oh, it's F. Okay. Okay, okay. That's... I figured there was a... I figured there was a, a something. I pushed F, come on. No? The crud. Oh, I, what if? <sighs> How about that? You had to have the ca you have to have the camcorder on to toggle the night vision. Is that? Is that blood? Yeah, well, we are already got it. Thank you. I'm way ahead of you. This does not bode well. I assume that's the way out. Yes. I mean, what's the point of closing it, right? Why is this door, like, off its hinges? I wonder. Okay, so. Well, hello, Father. Greetings. Can I interact with the bookshelf? No. Can I interact with the no? So what is... Yeah, but 
See, that doesn't make any sense to me. There's no... There's no sunlight out there. I mean, not like it's being reflected here. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I just... Okay, that was not cool, and, uh, I seem to think that, uh, my house must be drafty because I felt a cold chill. I'm sure it has nothing at all to do with this game. I think, uh, This, I don't like this idea. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things that you know you're in it. Yeah, I get it. Thank you for your input game. I don't want to. Especially because that looks like blood up ahead. No, no. Okay, so can we... Oh, hey. Batteries are used for the infrared light of your camcorder. You can reload by pressing R, I think that said. Can't interact with anything. See, that's probably where like, I could get most of my information and then this game would be over with. I'm just saying. So we got like blood all over the walls here. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. So we got like blood all over the walls here, on the floor. You know, this is not cool for a uh, mental health facility. No. Come on, why can't I get any cool notes or anything? kidding but I really don't want it. what is oh that's just a okay well that wasn't very smart of me uh, can I like is there any no um, um, I would feel safer with this on I don't know why but I just would I guess just because this room, and I obviously can't interact with any lights or anything. Okay, jo collected documents are uploaded to your reporter's note, note, notebook. For some reason, the phone in this office is off the hook. Uh, I need to push R to reload my batteries. We can toggle the night vision because unless something jumps through the window to get us we're okay um, I'm gonna uh, come out here to like the safety of the hallway maybe and then push J okay Murkoff psychiatric systems project wall rider I guess that's what Anyway, Mount Massive, Colorado, case number 174, patient initials, WPH, Billy. Consultation dated 2012-10-14. Initial date of patient consult, 4-12-2009. Patient age, 19, gender male. Uh, physician, Dr. Carl, Carl Houston. Uh, patient claims to have progress to self Directed lucid dream states, morphogenic engine, 
activity observed at unprecedented scale, continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostic spiro spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Um, hematocrit. Oh my gosh. Centrifuge again failed to separate er erythrocytes. I can't say these uh, technical terms. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM, NREM cycle, laughter, and NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Trager. Trager? Trager? No, the only Trager, Trager, on company record one, Richard Trager, Trager, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytic biometrics. Murkoff, Psychiatric Systems Project, Wall Rider, Mount Massive, Colorado. MRD. MRD. What do those initials stand for? MRD. Um, um, no. MRD. M. R. D. No. No, no. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, so I get the feeling that. Get the feeling that the lights are gonna go out or something. I don't know. Um. I'm gonna come in here for. So there's blood on the ceiling, and uh-oh, I just got blood on my shoe. And there's, I wonder if I can, do I even want to try and, oh, I don't know. Um... Um, let's see. So obviously, I, I'm I'm gonna venture to guess that I can't go into that room, and I most likely can't go through here. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So I'm gonna have to go through this ventilation shaft. All right. We'll uh we'll check out, see where this ventilation shaft goes, and then go from there. I, uh, oh, whoops. Yeah, it says spacebar, dummy. Really? You, you're kind of silly. I don't want to do this. Alright, do we go, well, obviously we go that way. What would happen if we went that way? I don't even want to know. Never mind. I'm 
assuming that I just got locked in this room. Well, I mean, I guess I'm not locked in a room. I'm in this ventilation shaft and... Okay, well, I can't go that way, and I can only go into the library. Oh my gosh. Seriously? That, that, that was not... Now that we're getting into the good scary parts, I think I'm going to, while I'm hyperventilating, I think I'm going to leave this video here before I uh, start really crying for my mommy. And if you liked it, make sure you kick that like button in the teeth. And uh, comment and let us know how we're doing, how we're not doing, what you'd like to see, what you wouldn't like to see, what you think could be better, what you think, you know, whatever. Just let us know. Let us know why you're not watching. Is it my boring, monotonous voice? I wouldn't doubt it. But anyway, that's besides the point. Just watch it anyway. Even if I watch it for five minutes, at least I get a watch. <laughs> Alright, anyway, don't forget to tell everybody about this weird guy, Dark420, who does, you know, these weird videos. You use them, watch them go to bed at night, things like that. This, that, the other. Alright, I'm out. <laughs>